welcome back to Dot Hack Outbreak. Remember how uh, I said that Monday we'll get into quarantine? Well, I lied. As it turned out, Monday instead I went to go hang out with Flog Dog and didn't get home till late and didn't want to record this video that I'm recording now and uh, edit it and upload it. So just nothing got uploaded. I left no explanation in the community thing for YouTube to let you all know that this is what happened. I just figured I would just leave it unexplained until I recorded this video and then uh, tell you what happened. So if you didn't like that you didn't get your video on Monday, just everyone put boo flog dog in the comments. Just flood those comments, let flog dog know exactly how you feel he's he'll enjoy it i'm sure he will he'll get a get a nice kick out of it he may cry i'm not sure he, he can be emotional sometimes that guy anyways uh it's looking like friday is probably going to be the day when we are going to get quarantine out or at least the first video for quarantine out i'm gonna do the golden gob uh, tag event and the boss fight that you get at the end of the game today that's what you're gonna see right now and then uh, Friday we'll do quarantine now tomorrow which will be the 28th for me which is gonna be today for you a game comes out a game that I am hoping I will be playing a ton of and getting stuck on and dedicating my life and every free time that I have to just playing this game. Whether or not that becomes a thing or not, I won't know until tomorrow. But I'm super excited for said game and you are going to see said game or at least portion of said game on uh, Saturday. Which is the 31st and every Saturday there on is probably going to be that game because we do still have No Man's Sky going on on Thursdays and now we have uh, Black Myth Wukong on Tuesdays which recording the content like editing the video for that content I've noticed just how laggy it is, and I'm almost tempted to say that the lag may kill the series. I may just not like that it's so laggy, and that it just makes the video quality look absolutely terrible. I'm saying this as recording a PlayStation 2 game, but a lag I think really pulls it, will pull you out of whatever you're watching. Terrible audio jumpy stuttery video that uh, I can't stand that and I got that quite a bit playing uh, Black Myth Wukong ran the benchmark was like no you're gonna be playing above 60 frames per second everything's gonna be fine it wasn't there are portions in that game made me upset because I get into boss battles and it wants to lag and stutter and just not cooperate like it should apparently this is a known issue if you have an Intel CPU. So I'm hoping that there will be an update at some point to that game. I have well over five hours recorded footage. So you'll get plenty of videos, gonna be laggy stuttery videos, but hopefully by the time I start to run out of footage on that, an update will have happened in the game. will not stutter as much, but this is not about Black Myth Wukong. I did decide to take this video as a, a chance to update you all on what's going on. So, without further ado, let's get in the game. All right, first things first that we need to do is we need to get ourselves a party together. The boss is located here in the level or pulsating Sea of Cloud Whale is uh, 70 which i don't i think most of our party is either right at that level or just barely underneath it but we're gonna get the two lowest which is what we normally do 
71, 71, 70. There's Moonstone with 70. There's Elk with 70. We still can't use Elk. Got Natsumi with 70. Gardenia with 70. Terajima with 70. Alright. So, Moonstone, 879. Uh, 800 from Natsumi. 859. Gardenia. And then 809 with Terajima. So it's looking like Terajima and Natsumi are going to be joining us. Where is she? Did I pass her? I did. She's down this way. Yeah. She's 800. Uh, Gardenia's 859. So let's get Natsumi. Thank you for choosing me. I will do my best. She won't. That's a lie. Um, and we are also going to get Terajima. Thank you so very much for inviting me today. She says that, but she doesn't mean it. Um, I am almost positive I have everybody at as high as they can get. I know I got a, a twin blade for Natsumi that she can use. Cause yeah, it's the level 39 one. We have ones that are much higher. It's armor around 60. It is so good there. Um, guarantee. Yeah, she's got a level 49 axe. Uh, could use better hands and legs and helm. All right, so I'm gonna go do some management stuff. I'll be right back. And we're back. Everything is settled and we are ready to go. So let's go. Pulsating Sea of Cloud Well. You're going to warp there. It is going to be protected. Do we have the proper data cores? Just need one. B. Perfect. Go. Just gonna get pulled along by our wrists. It's completely normal. It's a normal thing that's happening. And the level designs on these places are always so cool looking. So I always like to take a look around at like the level design. No map in the corner. Just kind of all seems like it goes one place. Hey, so for the sake of time, I'm actually just going to rush us straight towards the boss battle. We just go through four floors of regular combat. You've seen it all before. Let's get in that boss battle. There it is. That's the cause of the infection? Alright, let's go! Yeah, let's take out that cause, the infection. Use your skills. Right. I'm gonna try and weaken it. Oh my god, it has death effect. That's what I was talking about. Well, they're, they're, uh, they're probably going to get away from me. <laughs> All that strength that I've been doing. Oh my god. Oh, 
reaching out to me. But we still have Terajima out there. She's gonna be the uh, saving grace of this one. She's gonna have to.
demanding role in the back. I let them all fight for me. Terra Jean was uh, doing pretty good. Big old tank, so she could take some damage. It's that death effect we really gotta look out for, though. But as long as Natsumi's there, just to uh, be a uh, a distraction, Terra Jean should be okay. get a whole lot for that. I've killed the root of the infection, so it should be fine now. What should be fine? The giant? Image 67 added to the desktop. Image 68 added to the desktop. Image 69, nice, added to the desktop. Image 70 added to the desktop. Image 71 added to the desktop. Image 72 added to the desktop. Image 73 added to the desktop. Image 74 added to the desktop. Image 75 added to the desktop. Image 76 added to the desktop. And there we go. I don't know why it was all that just for images. That's what we got from that. Now, there was a way to be able to data drain that monster and get a, um, rare twin blade item out of it but i have so many rare twin blades and i'm just really stuck on using stealth that i just i chose not to go the route what i wanted you to do was to use it's beast blood that gets rid of the magic tolerance and use magic attacks to take it out and that's how you were supposed to do it is you take them down with magic attacks and then it can be uh data broken and then from there you can data drain it and you get these rare twin blades i don't i don't care for those rare twin blades at all i'm not trying to collect a bunch of twin blades that are just not going to get used i've got mine and i'm perfectly fine with what i got so that's that uh, i did find out another interesting little thing also which i'm gonna explain to you uh, right now and while I'm explaining it to you, I might as well just go check out all these images that we just got. Uh, you remember when the, uh, in the last game, in 61 that we were at? I'll start at 61. Oh, we were doing the infection and we would go to Hidden Forbidden Holy Ground. And, uh, while doing that, we would see images of uh, the characters from the Dihag Sign anime. Well, they do have something like that here. Maybe start at 66. No, let's we'll start at 67. There it is, the past. Uh, so it's called Phantom Quest. It's a whole little hidden thing inside of Dot hack outbreak where you can see ghosts of the characters from dot hack side talk to them and they will give you items and it's like all of the main characters that are talking to you and that you're getting like golden grunty and stuff like that from them. Probably should have done that before a boss battle but eh I knew I wasn't going to be getting into combat so getting a bunch of golden grunties to increase my health wasn't really going to be much of a beneficial thing, but uh, I, I figured, oh, I'll do that afterwards and use that when I go into battle with the Golden Gob Queen, because that fight's going to be annoying, I already know, and uh, yeah, there's that image, there's this image, it's a pretty cool image, wish I could see it like fully, can't really make out too much because there's still something in the way. That's kind of what it is. 
works. That's pretty cool looking artwork. Uh, but you, you see them like six times for each character in different parts. I have a list here in front of me. That's Balmuk. That uh, we're going to be using to go to these different areas. Runty food. And seeing these characters. Mia being all loopy. Elk with bear. Look, oh, you look familiar. Like an old comrade. Phantom Wave Master. It's a uh, Su. Adi? Sonata? Nope, I'm thinking of the, the character from Naruto. Twilight Moon. Tsubasa? 75, and then image 76. That's nice. I like all. Oh, these are all like really nice artworks. Like, she could do this one first. I'll just keep changing it. I'll just, I'll start at 67 and work my way down. Uh, now new audio, which is a surprise. And I think there's actually a gap in my images as well. But that's like stuff that you get from the Ryu book. Yeah, so from like 34 to 57, there's a gap there. Um, probably Ryu book wallpapers that you get through data draining or just doing certain things like collecting grunty food, breeding gruntys, trading, gifting, uh, completing fields and dungeons, visiting grandpa and monsieur, um, some other stuff too. I forget what it all, all is, but there's like eight books and through each of those books, oh, just playing, playing in time wise. Uh, going to different dungeons, or to different areas. Um, you go to these different books, and if you've done so many of whatever it tells you to do, then you get a image, an audio, or a um, video, which they say could be viewed in the options after beating the game. That's when you get into movie mode, and you can go through and you can watch these movies. And they make it so you can't watch them until you actually beat the game. And, and then it gives you the option to see these little movies. But they're, they're just essentially the um, cutscenes that we, we see as you play the game. So it, just in case you got ahead of it, you're not getting any spoilers. But we've only got as far as phase four, fit chill. And uh, there's still still more things to unlock in the Ryu book, which I'll be checking before I switch over, but you don't see that. You'll see me change the audio and wallpapers, and that's about it. So uh, let's let's go into Phantom Quest. And I'll explain how that works because I can just kind of speed through that. So if we just walk around in certain areas in the different servers, we can come across these ghosts. And if we go over to where the alleyway is, over here by the magic shop, we'll come across our first one, which will be Mimaru. There she is. She's just walking, just a phantom. Select it. Is it possible for someone to be unable to log it out? Hey, she says that in the show. She vanishes. She vanished. Ah, uh, yes. And then we get image 50 added to the desktop. And we now have healing elixir. Which restores HP to maximum. That's great. That'll come in handy at some point, I'm sure. Alright, and then image 50 is this. Phantom of Nine. We pull it up. What's this? The characters. They're blank. How is this? What is this? What? What is? What is all this about? Well, we talk to every single one of these nine characters in the game, starting with each and each character individually. You got to go through just one, the multiple times, and then as you do it, that character's image will appear in the wallpaper. So let's go find everybody else. 
or just go through all the talky talk talks and then we'll come back to it at the wallpaper once that happens all right next we're in the the theta server if you go behind the grunty area we should see Mimaru walking right back here too there she is what do you think you are the net is the same as the real world sounds very similar to another character She vanished. And we get Emperor Soul. And if I'm not mistaken, I think that just is a complete Yeah, restoration of your SP. Good stuff. And then Mimaru is walking between the magic and weapon shop. Let's head up and down the stairs. There she is. Sukasa's not in some kind of trouble. Sukasa. She vanished. Noble Wine, which is another SP thing, I think. HP and SP to maximum. Very nice thing. She's supposed to be here. She is walking between the Grunty Shop and then that over there. Empty pit. I'm just gonna forget about it. I'm tired of being twisted around his little finger. It's a waste of time. She vanished. Energy Sutras. I don't know what that does. That's something different to me. Uh, where is it? Ah, plus 10 to maximum HP. Nice. So I want to go between Elf's Haven and the Grunty area. And there she is, just walking. Why did I ever have to meet him? Spirit Sutras, which I'm sure is, yep, for SP. Plus 5, though, instead of plus 10. I'll take every little bit of SP you want to give me. And for the final... Supposed to be... Around here somewhere. There she is. Back behind the Record Keeper. This is supposed to be the last interaction. It's fine with me if I know that is irritating. That way it's easy to just hate his guts and walk away. She vanished. Boom, we get the golden runty. That lets our maximum HP go up by 30. Very good. Now, what happens after we do all interactions with Mimaru? Well, let's go back and look at that wallpaper. Oh, look at that! Mimaru is now colored in on the wallpaper. Wow. Isn't that great? We get awesome items, and we get a revealed shadow. It's like unlocking a character. That would have been really awesome too. If they were like, we're just gonna give you their member address and now you can invite them to your party. Nope. No, they didn't have, they, they have character models for them, they have voices for them. And uh, we, we, don't, we don't get that. I don't even think with a game shark you get that. But you'll, you'll probably have to Google what game shark is. You used to be able to like put in codes. This is like uh, modding before mods got put in on the PC. It was a little device that you plugged into your PlayStation 2 and a CD inside and you picked a game and it had a bunch of cheat codes for those games of things that you could do. And I, I did use GameShark on .hack when I was younger on Infection. And it let me unlock all of the characters on disc one. 
So all the characters that you would see through one to four, you could get early. So I was like, oh, that's cool. And you could level them all the way up to max. Wonderful. That was, that was a terrible cheater. Moving on. Now if we go back here, over by the weapon shop. Oh, look. Oh, look at here. Is that Gardenia? No, it's BT. Do you think our much talked about Wave Master got his hands on the key of the Twilight? She kind of a funky she looking vanished. character model. Her eyes kind of look shrunched together. Another healing elixir. Isn't that great? Isn't that just amazing? Now we're finding all this stuff. Let's go keep looking around. And then over here, between the path, between the magic and weapon shop, oh look, it's BT again. What if he's found that hidden item that is said to override the very foundation of the world? She vanished. Emperor's soul. I think we're getting all the exact same items. It's six interactions with each character. So all, all nine characters six times, and I want to say they all give you the same type of thing. Uh, noble Wine, yeah, Energy Sutras, Spirit Sutras, and then a Noble Grunty. Oh no, uh, not a Noble Grunty, a Silver Grunty at the end. Okay, so at the end they give you something different, just depending on who it is. And there she is, right over here by the magic shop. You act and I analyze. If we combine our skills, we can gather information more quickly than the others. She vanished. And right over here by the item shop. The bell is rung. Now, let the curtain rise. Vanished. And then over here on the little walk path between the item shop and uh, Elf's Haven. Mm, Mr. Bear is good at music, people. She vanished. And then finally she's over here by the Grunty. of something just because you cannot find it. She vanished. And that was the last interaction. We get BT's wand out of it. We're getting everybody's items. BT's wand, dude. Level 46 rare for a wave master. Comes with a Megan Rum. Comes with uh, Meru Zot. And a Raju Zot. Not too bad. Give that to our Wave Master, which will probably be Wiseman. Unless we can get Elk back. That just looks like a big river of blood now that I'm looking at it from over here. And uh, we're just gonna go find everybody else. So let's just go do a super cut of uh, finding everyone. And and then go into the wallpaper after. It's Bear. Greetings, I'm Bear. I like to do that too, whatever I'm feeling down. He vanished. And uh, off quest since I'm here, went to the traders over here in the back. And we found the person who's looking for Maiden's plot. She'll give us Thunder Dad. It's for 
for a heavy axeman. Gives you Rye Tornado and Ryo Punish. Comes with a Life Train effect. Very nice. And the stats. For Thunder Dad. And then right here. This old man doesn't know what's going on anymore. He vanished. And right over here. Well, this old man will be thinking about that for a while. So if you need any help, just call. He vanished. And then over here by the Grunty. The world I abandoned by resetting might have remained engulfed by evil. And then back here. I have a feeling you won't find the answer by just chasing after the character on the net. That's what we're doing. And what does he give us? Silver Grunty. Beautiful. There he is. We're in the middle path where the Grunty's at. First I'll get the treasure, then I'll get you, and then I'll get them all. Oh, Sora. He vanished. Right over here by Elfshaven. I love it. I want to be his friend. Just real, really in him. His bangs are my bangs. He vanished. And over here between the grunty shop and the corral. But that's how I get what I want. Wanna die again? Vanished. Between the chaos gates. I'm just right next to the chaos gate here. That's a rude thing to say, considering you invited me. He vanished. Over here on the bridge between. Else Haven oh, and where so the grunt is. To what other people say? That's not nice. He vanished. And then here behind the grunties. Just kidding. I get scolded if I stayed up any later. And that's the last. He vanished. And over here, we have Krim. <laughs> it's been too long. At last, I'm back. He vanished. Order and weapon shop. I was on a business trip to Indonesia. I finally came back and logged in, but it just didn't feel comfortable going to Mac on you. He vanished. Over here by the record keeper. To find the key of the twilight, this is an omen. He vanished. Right 
up here by the magic shop stairs. Recognize your weakness and change it into your strength. Under the current circumstances, you can't protect Subaru. He vanished. Over here by the magic shop. I didn't think I would regret quitting the Crimson Knights. He vanished. And then over here by the magic shop. I hate what you would call facts. No matter what anyone says, I personally like this character. And that was the last. He vanished. And back here, we have Silver Knight. At this rate, we may be able to avoid a panic by saying that it was a bug in the test data for the next version. He vanished. Here between the Grunty and Carousel. As Captain of System Administration Support, I should have communicated better. He vanished. Between the Weapon and Magic Shop. We eliminate all characters who break the rules. There are no excuses. Between the Grunty and Elf's Haven. Do not speak of the Crimson Knights lightly. He vanished. Er, between Elf's Haven and the item shop. Orca of the Azure Sea and Balmunk of the Azure Sky. If those two are working together, there's nothing for us to worry about. He vanished. Over here in front of the weapon shop. It is not easy to act in the name of justice. And we get SK Sword, Silver Knight Sword. It is a Blade Master weapon of level 29, not that high. Cross Slash cr uh, Crack Beat or Revolver. No elemental effects on it whatsoever. There you go, something to, to take up room in your storage. And behind the Grunty. Hey, you look strong. Are you busy? She vanished. Alleyway by the magic shop. It doesn't matter. You're strong. Don't worry. We'll be fine. Vanished. In between the weapon shop and the grunty. Oh well then, I'm just gonna quit playing. This game is boring. She vanished. Over here by the grunty shop. Because I want to try. Isn't that reason enough? She is over here by the item shop. Why are you using that tone of voice? This high and mighty. She 
vanished. And over here by the item shop. out of everything. Back here behind the grunty. And please, try to refrain from going off on your own. This is not a time for heroes. She vanished. That's super rude. Here between the weapon and magic shop. She vanished. And over here by the item shop. Something is about to happen in this game. You gotta eat my grunty. Item shop and the storage place. This may no longer be a problem that we can handle on our own from inside. It is my fear that this is the case. She vanished. Here between records and storage kit. Getting insulted. That's great. He vanished. Between the grunty and a weapon shop. It's just that I wanted to know. Are you able to log out? He vanished. Between Elf's Haven and the Grunty. Tsukasa's wand. Let's check it out. Tsukasa's wand level 48 rare. That's nice. Gives you Vulcan CH, which is a fire summon level 2. Gives you thunder summon level 2. 
in darkness summon level two with warnick channel lands your channel Ooh, a hundred health nice that's gonna be great for a wave master I would like to give it to elk so if we get elk back in quarantine I think I'm gonna give him uh, Sukasa staff just because his character resembles and looks like Sukasa all right last thing we need to do is we got to get back out to the wallpaper boom and there you have it the wallpaper completely filled with the characters we saw all nine of them we interacted with all of the phantoms and uh, got got a filled wallpaper so that looks great little cell shades little cell animation things just kind of layered on top of one another all right well that's wonderful now let's uh continue what we we're doing and now we do the final thing for dot hack outbreak and then we've completed the game and we move on to quarantine we have to go do a golden gob tag race the final golden gob tag race so let's go do that and on on over to detestable gambler's gate and we have to go alone i'll show you the real gold goblin power gob that points
sorry that my line hasn't changed for the third time, Gob, but you sure you won't be a goblin, Gob? Sure. Pretty sure. That's too bad, Gob. You'd make a good goblin, Gob. Oh, I'm gonna take that as a compliment. If you don't want to, Gob, oh well. Yeah. Just like before, when you equip the items from the Gob S series, something good will happen, Gob. Ooh. Okay, my time is almost over, Gob. Yeah, I know I don't look that way, Gob. Imps cross to the key items. Now let's see what happens when we equip all of the uh, S tier goblin stuff. Do we get tier to play? And we get Duke Juka and Goblin King. Ooh, no added effects or anything of that nature. Our physical accuracy and evasion's at max though, so that's really cool. Our SP's at 99, and then we get the ability to summon the Goblin King, which summons a giant goblin. Of course, there's no target out here for us to be able to do that, so we won't be able to see the animation for it. But hey, we did it. We beat the Golden Gob Tag Race. We didn't struggle with this one as much as we did the one in Mutation. That took some time. I had to go back and do research, and I'm glad before I started this, I did research. It, it pays to do research. It's not cheating. It's not cheating at all. I don't care if you tell me it is cheating. I don't think I cheated. But hey, that's it. It's the end. That's all for Dot Hack Outbreak. The next video you see is gonna be me on Dot Hack Quarantine. I'm gonna be doing the final game. That's gonna be exciting. I'm gonna be really excited to do that. I've never dreamed that I would get this far. Back when I was playing this game in middle school and was stuck on a mutation. Not being able to get past a boss battle. And now, here I am. At the end of disc 3, game 3, getting ready to start game 4. Finally being able to go back, play the games that I wish I could have played when I was a kid, and eating them. That's something that I don't ever think I would be able to do. And I'm happy that I can. So, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next game of Dot Hat Warranty. Goodbye.